Hi, it's me, MJ from Craft Gangster. Hello, my crafty friends. Um, I really, I was so excited. I found like loads of thrift stores lately and I entered them. <laughs> so this is quite a bit shaky now because I'm doing it free handed as the books are so big. So I decided I'm going to start and try myself um, on a junk journal or art journal or which spell book journal or something like that. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gathering materials now. And so I hit the um, charity shops to find some treasures. And they really are treasures. I mean, look, one euro for this book. And it's really pretty. It's from Cicely Mary Barker. And I did a bit of research. She lived, she was born 1895 and had like, um, yeah, she was a watercolorist or something. I don't know if she did watercolors. I don't know. But she did fairies. And she actually made the poet to it. I'm not going through every page now, but just so you see what it's about. You might have seen that these colorings before. Oh, look, isn't it pretty? Ooh, so gorgeous. Traveler's Joy Fairy. The botanical name. And then she made like uh, the song of the Traveler's Joy Fairy. Traveler, Traveler, tramping by. And so forth. And so forth. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's for like autumn or something, you know. I really... I'm a bookworm. And I'm cringing by cutting off book papers and stuff. So they're going to cut these out with a die or something, you know. Or maybe make copies. I, I tend to make copies. <laughs> I don't know yet. Just, you know, just getting inspirations. So that's that. going to put them on the floor so we get space. And then I found this. It's about English roses. That was three euro. I mean, look. Oh my god. I mean, what better way to start a junk or art journal with all these. Look at these colors. Oh my word. I love it. Well, not this, but look. Little. I like. See, this is my. Sorry for the shaking. My hand. Ah. That's when you have big books. Look. They're small pictures, actually. There, yeah, I have loads of botanical. Oh, look at this. You can cut, fuzzy cut them, around, cut around them or something, you know. Or use the whole thing, or cut it in half, make a card out of it. It's just brilliant. These colors are so vibrant. Love it. Then I got one in French. En de toi et toi. I don't know. I don't speak French. I speak German. Yeah, I'm German. But I don't speak French. I just un, un peu. Uh, bisschen. A kleines bisschen. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of everything. But I thought it's really cute. Look, you can cut this out. Or sections of it. It's a really big book. And you have a centipede. <laughs> or you have that really lovely bird look this is brilliant look at this that screams card right oh star oh, so brilliant a oh, little donkey family and the cows the cows it's really lovely I don't know. I have no idea. So, and this was the biggest one. This is huge. I mean, look at that. It's a great world atlas. And if I want to know something, I go on the internet, you know. But it has cards. Oh, my God. Junk journal. You know. Great, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, and these colors just take a bit of cut parts out, then go with a little bit with 
you know, one of those on the sides. Brilliant. Love it. That was five euro. Oof, and it's so heavy. And imagine me with all these books. Whoa. And I had this one here too. It has like, that was four euro. But it has all these tiny books in it. I haven't only seen this one in, in front. The Bramley Hatch Library from Jill Barclam. That's so cute. I mean, look at them. Sea story. Wow. Isn't that cute? <gasps> look at the little mice. Oh. So, so stinking cute. I mean, look at the little hellos. I mean, brilliant, isn't it? My kids are all grown up, so I don't even have a bad conscience. Just... You know, as I said, I, I used to be a really bookworm. My daughter is a bookworm. All women in our family are bookworms. We love books. And it's really hurting my soul cutting them. So I really have to. Oh. So I went up in, in the attic and I found these. And it's it's German. Um, yeah, I got these for my son when he was tiny. He's like 18 now. He doesn't need them. And it's a shame to throw them away. I mean, they're index cards, kind of. You can glue something on there. Oops. Um, take them as dividers for the junk journal. You know? Just cut a piece of cardboard out and just put something or alter them. I mean, loads of possibilities. And look, loads. They're really sturdy. At least um, 120 or more GSM, I suppose. Ah, then I went to our local Tesco and I love making um, decoupage. So I bought napkins with the little bumblebees. Isn't that cute? Napkins and spring napkins. Can't have enough of them. So I decoupage them on... Um, I want to make a banner or, or as you say, a bunting. Oh, can't find it now. But I have a, actually I have a die which is pretty big and it's like as big as my hand palm. And uh, I love decoupaging on them. I made a Christmas bunting for the... Um, open fire and it was gorgeous and i want to do something with summer right, right up summer and leave it there all that's nice to look at so then i got oh this one was too in the thrift store thrift shop two euro vincent vincent de paul they're really good they're so lovely and i bought loads of jewelry pieces you know they're all one euro each for a necklace or and have beads and stuff but i already took them apart and i put them Wait a second. That's my glue spot. Dun, dun, dun. I hope you don't get sick. But look at that deliciousness of beads. That's collected through the years. Don't think I go nuts and buy so much stuff. But that's really collected throughout the years. At least like 10 years of collecting. <laughs> that's just part of it. Yeah. I'll take you back for that stuff I made a while ago. It's all up there. I tend to make a room to it, but I have to clean this up here. It's a hot mess, you know. And look at that. That's my little crafting buddy. Say hello, Penny. Hello. Hey, you baby. Hey, you baby. She is so cute. She is my love. I love her to bed. But now she has to go. Sewing machine, bin, tissues, that's my workplace, it's always a mess, creative mess I say. Now, I bought this, I have no idea what, what to do with it, but I will find something, I always find something, that's when you're creative, terrible. So, not terrible, no, it's good. Last week, this, these came from AliExpress. Love it. 
because my it's um my daddy he's my stepdad he's gonna be like 70 this year and he loved motorbikes when he was younger he had a collection of motorbutsi and he sold them off because of my mom because she doesn't like motorbikes and he got older so he's but he still loves motorbikes and he has a little vespa so i'm gonna make a card with this one and then because it's gonna be christmas again yeah right every year so sort all of a sudden we have christmas so i found this and it's really nice and i figured i didn't have enough foliage dice so i ordered some foliage something more no then i went and when i was in the thrift store there was a, a shop it was actually a for newspapers and books and stuff but they have a little um shelf so you buy like three pieces for six euro so i bought glass bottles i'm gonna put them um, i'm gonna turn these into witch bottles i have frames i'm kind of obsessed with mini frames they're really tiny there's another frame I got some ribbon, lace, and brown. Oh. I got stamps for like two euro. Be happy. These are a big thing, aren't they? That would go really well with the napkins. And we got some roses. Can't have enough roses. Look at the big one. Oh my word, it's it's really gorgeous. Look how big it is. Wow. So happy. So, oh, this one came last week too. That's, um, I love the um, AliExpress um, store. Piggy, Piggy something. Piggy, I, I, lo I order loads there. They're really good. Um, yeah, that's me with, that's me done freehand. <laughs> Okay, I want you to take care. This today is a really bad day. It's stormy, it's windy, it's raining, it's lashing, ah, everything. So I want you to be really careful outside and take care of you and your family and love you loads. Bye-bye.